Hi, it's your host, Andrew Wood, coming back for another episode of Clearing Up the Controversy, this program paid for by a generous grant from the technocracy. Now, in this episode, we're going to be examining the conventions. Now, the conventions are often maligned and misunderstood, but we can look to popular cinema and the Men in Black movies. This is none other than the New World Order in action. And the New World Order is... And they are clearly the good guys. Will Smith would not play a bad guy. He's a wonderful person. And they have brought us all forms of technology and a watchful eye of Big Brother to look over our shoulder and make sure no harm comes to us in the night from the irrational, irresponsible individuals who place God and mysticism above the cold, rational beauty of science and advancement and progression. For that is what the technocracy is. And that is what the administrators of the New World Order provide. In joint working with their other arms. Speaking of arms, wouldn't you like to be able to have your arm replaced now if you believed in science? If you accepted facts? and truth and allow the progression for they can only progress at the rate in which you allow them to. It's you that's holding them up because I have given myself wholly over to these ideas. But if we all could embrace the dominant paradigm and move closer, we could advance our social level to a greater degree. Iteration X has all the cures in stock, but they're just those Narduel naysayers out there who don't allow Iteration X to do their job. Sure, if my arm was cut off, I would love to have a cybernetic replacement that had full feeling and, and complete function and 20 times the strength of my normal arm. But you won't allow that, will you? Iteration X has created the computer. They have brought us to this medium where I may speak to you about them. Quite pleasant of them to have so kindly obliged us to have these communication methods in working hand in hand with the men in black with the new world order and creating uh, these methods and they also create safe methods such as cyborgs that can patrol and eradicate these very dangerous individuals out there that are throwing around and monkeying with reality that same reality that we need because there are some very bad dangerous things out there and I'm for one glad that we have iteration X to watch our backs in conjunction with the men in black and the watchful eye of Big Brother. This makes me able to go to bed tonight. Now, have you ever looked at the stock market and seen all those numbers and symbols and everything running by on that ticker and said, what the hell is that? You would just have to be an utter genius to understand how any of that works. Well, you do, because that's the syndicate. That is them at their heart, running all the strange operations of the world's trade, of the stock markets, understanding how these intricacies interplay and controlling such things so that we as a people, as a world, can continue to advance, can continue to prosper through trade, through economics, through the growth of business. They are watching out for our best interest, no doubt, in that as the way that they safeguard the money the ability to do business and good business is done through their kind generosity. Besides them, we have the progenitors, the individuals who put together that greatest of Darwinian concepts, that eugenics that bring both of biological and sociological, social engineers at their finest, putting together communities, building people and relationships and a perfect synthesis to produce a new glorious world in which we will not have the problems of the past, which bigotries and ignorance and intolerances will all be eradicated, and we will have no need for any of the malicious and malign aspects of our current self, for these such things will be brought out, and all weakness will be gone, and we will live in excellent harmony, where Iteration X will provide for any damage that is done to us, and we can live for hundreds of years in perfect health, for our organs will be replaced and cybernetics will be put upon us in most wonderful myriad of union of flesh and steel and perfect endurance and continuing and utter elevation of the human condition through the glory of science. For all these things, it is not mysticism and magic and foolishness and silliness of caveman times. This is the human condition 
at its apex and zenith, and that is what the conventions bring. But there's one more problem, way past anything we can see out there, is something that some call the Aether. And way at the very, very, very edge and end of the Aether is something called the Horizon. A dam, and a dam that holds back the floods and tides of utter insanity and madness of things that must not be and shall not be named, not by me. And if you have any wisdom in your mind, not by you either. But they, the grand greatest champions of humanity, stand there at the mouth of madness itself and push back as the last barricade against the drowning insanity, the void engineers stand and fight the great beast of the outer darkness who seek to rip down that wall to pierce through the dam and to flood through the aether and penetrate into this world raging in orgies of violence and madness that end all sentient thought and reality and implode the universe itself but they will not allow this to happen because that is how the conventions stand wrapping together in a firm ball protecting humanity from every possible side and i for one i for one I'm glad that they are there. They're glad that they are there to aid us and keep us safe and allow us to sleep at night and to watch over us and to make sure everything is right. They are our good shepherds and we, their fine sheep. So, remember, science, progression, advancement, the human condition, that is what the conventions are there to do, to bring us to the new level, a new land, a new way of being, both socially, genetically, scientifically, through the advances in technology and safeguarding us in their grand ether ships. They are our heroes. They are our destiny to unlock all human potential. We must embrace them. They are the best amongst us. Just remember, for all those who malign them, the technocracy are only one thing, the good guys. No, I, I said, no, you, you, no, stop.